And we are ready to go just about. Millions of viewers from all around the world are tuning in for the Super Cup decider. My name is Derek Ray here in the commentary position. I'm joined by Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're inching ever closer to kickoff time. It's Manchester United versus Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, Derek, this will be interesting. Two of the best teams in Europe come head to head here. I think we should be in for a real treat tonight. Let's hope it's a good game. is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea stands between the posts. Rafael Varane plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Frenkie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the starting 11 for Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, the player that needs to affect the game is the one at the top of the midfield, Diamond. If he can get on the ball and dictate the play, they should control this match. In the battle for the UEFA Super Cup, they're underway now. Good looking ball. Now straight at the goalkeeper then. Darwin Nunez. Cristiano Ronaldo. An alert piece of defending. Bruno Fernandes. Determined defending. On the offensive. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Shaw. Bruno Fernandes has it. De Jong. Bruno Fernandes. Frankie De Jong. Spot on with that tackle. Daichi Kamada. So. Superb block. Phillips. Diogo Dallo. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Sancho. Options in the middle. Sancho. Corner awarded. Yeah. Now sending it in. Fernandes. Ronaldo! 
Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And a short corner, let's see. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Bruno Fernandes. On to Ronaldo. No problems for the keeper. Bode. Kostic has it. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Daichi Kamada. No possibilities inside the box. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. They really look after the ball when they have it. Can they get in behind them? Nunez. Oh, could be! Oh, brilliant goalkeeping! Smuggled away. He's managed to lose his marker. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Shaw. United might be able to cash in. An attack full of promise. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And over it comes. Well dealt with that ball comfortably. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Can he get them in front? Ronaldo. Body in the way. That is that for the first half here. In the battle for the UEFA Super Cup, they're underway now. And the second half in this UEFA Super Cup tussle is underway here. Darwin Nunez. Now with De Jong. Bruno Fernandes. Nunez. Here's Ronaldo. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. And providing width. No possibilities in the centre. Untidy on the ball. Delightful pass. Wasteful again in possession. Bruno Fernandes. Shaw. More than decent this from United. Keeping it moving dynamically. Able to get a body in the way. Just fractionally wide, so unfortunate.
So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Can someone get on the end of this? It didn't happen for them. Kostic. And played towards the near post. And danger still. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Kane. Bruno Fernandes Shaw well he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one De Jong so it's going to be a goal kick here Well, they've decided to make a change. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes showing fine vision well the keeper has outdone himself wonderful save can they forge ahead they do and you've got to say they're good value for the lead Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. They could pick out a teammate. Gibril so. It should be! Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. Here's a change for Manchester United. Played over. Well, still an issue here. Take after the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick.
making sure it didn't get past him. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, here it is again, and that touch to the side is just big enough to take the wall out of play and open up the goal, but it's still a very good finish. A really well-worked free kick. So, 2-0 now. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Phillips, Sancho now, Harry Kane, Sancho now, Kane, and full time, most satisfying, a victory in the curtain raiser to the season. Well, it's certainly a good way to start the season. That's just what they wanted. They played really well today, and it's always great to keep winning trophies. First piece of silverware, and that is never to be sniffed at as the players applaud the fans who have been backing them today. Well, it's great preparation for the season, Derek, and this is always a nice moment going up to lift any trophy. Great for those fans as well. Now for the trophy lift. And with friends and family in attendance, you've always got to really savour these moments when they come around, Stuart. Well, they've got to enjoy this, Derek, and then get ready for a tough season ahead.